Hey everyone, it's Kelsey here and today I've got a little mini haul to share with you guys from a couple of different places. Um, and I also wanted to share why I've been missing a little bit lately. Um, first of all, I had some really bad tooth pain and um, I got in a filling a couple months ago and I was still having tooth pain so I went back in and I had to have a root canal. So that took about like four or five days where I was just like in a lot of pain and distracted and then healing from the root canal. So um, that's part of why I was missing in action. It's very hard to narrate videos when your mouth hurts. Um, but the second reason is that I've kind of mentioned this before. I've been working on it since November. But um, I was chosen at my job. I work at a library to do the adult winter reading program. And um, I've all through November and December, I was calling businesses and trying to get donations and sponsors for our prize baskets. And I had to choose a theme for the overall event. So my theme was um, like under the big top vintage circus meets county fair. So um, it's a really fun theme and I've got events planned from January through March. So um, I've been trying to like plan everything and order everything and decorate and order food and get everything ready um, and just like, well, just get everything ready. And the event, the overall reading program started in January and basically you just like read books and you get tickets to enter in to win prizes. But we also do um, some events in there and the biggest event that we've got is this month, it's my first event, my first planning, like event planning type thing. Um, we're doing a murder mystery, or I'm doing a murder mystery. So I've just been really distracted. I've been tossing and turning at night. I've been sending emails to myself. I've just been stressing out to my husband, to my coworkers. I've just never planned an event like this, of this size, um, especially. So I'm just really nervous about it. And so I've just been out of the YouTube scene for a little bit and I did mention this in a blog post over the weekend um, but for those of you that just watch the videos and don't go over the blog I just wanted to kind of explain to you guys why I've been missing and that I will be back but this murder mystery is my complete focus so hopefully next weekend I will be back I will be <laughs> having more videos I even tried to narrate videos um, last Friday night and my computer wouldn't pick up the microphone, so I was like, you know what? This is the world telling me to go take a break that I don't need to be working on a Friday night. So, there you go. And then I had to work Saturday, so I just didn't really have a lot of time for YouTube. But, I love you guys, I miss you, and I will be back because I miss doing the videos. Um, here's a little sneak peek. I made this. This is the only creative thing that I've done in like two weeks, except for a little bit in my planner. So I'm Jones in here. <laughs> um, so what do you do when you're jonesing? You shop a little bit. So I picked up these Heidi Swap September Skies um, embellishments. These are only $4 on eBay. And that included shipping, so I was super excited. Um, but they are like the color shine paper, the color magic. So it's probably really hard to see. They probably just like like boring white pieces of paper. Um, but when you mist or ink them, they're gonna change colors or have like the resist. So I'm really excited. I actually thought you only got like. 10 or 12 pieces in here, but there's actually 68 pieces, the box says. But I mainly, I don't, I don't love the flowers. I mainly got it for the words. That's why I thought, honestly, there's only like 12 pieces in here, but there's actually a lot. So I'm excited to have those. Um, so I'll be playing with those and you guys will get to see them in action. So like, I don't know, like I said, it's really hard to capture on camera because it's just that resist paper. So I'm really excited about that. And then I also mentioned in my blog post um, over the weekend that I'm struggling with Project Life. I haven't even started it for 2015. Um, I feel really stuck on my 50, week 52 layout. Um, but yeah, I'm just really stuck. 
and I don't know what to do about Project Life because I really like it and I like the format. Um, so I might do a mini album, kind of like Stephanie Bryan. I don't know. I'm still trying to decide, honestly. Um, I'm still really trying to decide. But until then, I, um, until I post a video, until I get it all figured out, um, I'm just kind of procrastinating. But I will get it figured out and I will post a video telling you guys what exactly I'm going to be doing, um, for my project life. I think I've got an idea, but I'm just not 100% sold on it. But in the meantime, I picked up the new page protectors from Studio Calico. These are the 9 by 12 size. And you get two of a certain style and three, or no, you get two, two of three different designs and three of the third design, which, okay, that, that sounds weird. But anyway, you get nine page protectors in here of four different styles. So I'll just share those. I hope you guys can see them all right. This is just a blank piece of paper behind here. I'm going to use that in a minute, but hopefully it'll help you guys see. Um, so you get two of like just the big open page protectors. Nine, Like I said, this is nine by 12. And I think because they've got like the four pockets, I don't think they're supposed to fit in a regular size album, but I'm just going to punch my own holes because... I hate that about places. I'm like, I'm not going to go buy your special album just to have the holes punched properly. I'll punch my own holes. It doesn't bother me a bit. One thing that I really like about Studio Calico, though, is that they said people don't like seeing the brand strip on the side. So they actually took that off. It's unbranded. I think that's so awesome and so risky of a company. Um, I love that. I hope they stick with it because... It is nicer not seeing Becky Higgins or Recollections or Studio Calico written on here in gold. It it didn't really bother me, but it's obviously nicer to not have it there. Um, so this one has 12 pockets. So I think these are 4x4. Four four. Let me see. Uh, three like three and a quarter just under three and a quarter so yeah I guess that would be right because yeah it's 12 that way gotcha okay math is not my strong point guys I'm a librarian anyway so you get lots of pockets <laughs> so those are like basically three by three pockets okay and then this one is three by four pockets I don't know why all of these are upside down maybe I pulled them out that way um, so I really like that one too. I love the three by four size. So that's going to be awesome. See these prote page protectors make me think, oh, maybe you should just do design F and do a regular 12 by 12 album or, and use these too. I don't know. And then this one, let me see. Yeah. This one is, you get one, two, three, four, five, three by four pockets and two four by six pockets. Yeah, it's upside down again, but it's still the same. So I really like that. So as you can see, four by six, four by six, three by four. I really like that. I feel like there's less um, four by six pockets to work with. There's two instead of four, and then you get an extra three by four page. So I actually, Maybe I'll just get a big pack of these if Studio Calico will sell a big pack of the individual size. Maybe this could be my go-to size. I don't know. I'm just, like I said, I'm really struggling with Project Life. I don't, I don't know what it is about it. I honestly, I know a big part of it is the four by six pockets that I don't like trying to fill those. And especially when you're on camera, even though I go back and I edit my videos, it just feels like... I don't know, there's a little bit of pressure, like it feels like I have to finish this layout, I can't get stuck, and I get stuck a lot with the 4x6 pockets, and I'm just floundering with them. Um, so, yeah, maybe maybe I'll do a 9x12 album, I really like having the option to have more, pa more um, pockets, but obviously those 4x6 are not doing me any good, because I'm not using them. So maybe that's my only stumbling block, I don't know. But, so this was the handbook 9x12 page protectors. 
and you get nine of them. And I think they were a little bit expensive, but I can't remember how much they were. I don't, I wasn't like overly shocked by the price anyway. Okay. I feel like I've been talking forever, even though I know I haven't just because I'm not used to making videos. Um, I'm going to pull out my ink pad here. So I, as you guys know, I have my pretty, pretty planner here. Um, I haven't used it as much as I want. I think because I've been so busy, which you would think that would make me do more in there. Um, but it's actually made me do a little bit less. So anyway, um, I love my album, but I wanted some stamps. And I looked at the Studio L2E stamps, um, but they were, they were a little more expensive. They were like $15 a set, which don't get me wrong, the stamp sets I'm sure were excellent quality and they were big. But I ordered these, they came back in stock from Sweet Stamp Shop, and I had really wanted to order from her for a while, um, but this the planner sets are very, very popular, so they were constantly sold out, um, so as soon as she got a new batch in, I was lucky enough that it was like a payday, so um, yeah, I got these two sets, and shipping was really reasonable. I really appreciate that about small companies that they have like real shipping. It's not $6.99 for two stamp sets that came in a, you know, an envelope, a padded envelope. Um, so I really appreciate that fact. It got here really quick. I think I ordered them, I don't know, it would have been like, well, Wednesday or Thursday and they got here on a Monday. So that's pretty awesome. And they were only $7.95 a piece. Because, okay, I know that this is smaller than, like, okay, like, than this stamp set. I get that. But look how many things she puts on there. She puts a lot of stuff. I just feel like $7.95 is a really fair price. So, um, this set is called Plan Work. And I'm not going to stamp all of these images out just because there's so many of them but I thought I would do just a few um like test ones just to see how they stamp out um because yeah I know that's so important to see how a stamp actually stamps it can be the cheapest stamp set in the world but if it doesn't stamp well or it doesn't have a good feel to it it's not worth your money and this one stamps good let me zoom in for you guys. So, let me... I rearranged my desk and now I can't find anything. Oh, there it is. <laughs> so, I really like that these stamp crisply. Let me try a word because the words are really tiny, which is good for the planner, but man, that it just stamps nice. She obviously uses quality products. I don't think I've ever bought from the Sweet Stamp Shop, um, which I know smaller companies, it can be scary to work with them because you're like, is it gonna be good? Is it gonna be quality? Is it gonna be overpriced because they can't get as good of a deal like on bulk purchasing but I gotta say the price was right the shipping was fast and these stamps are really good quality so plus she has so many images I just think that's awesome so let me turn the stamp set around again so you guys can see it um, and I'll try out a few from this one too but I'm just going to, one, two, three, four, five. Forty-one images. You get forty-one images in the stamp set. And I'm not denying, a lot of them are like words. But that's perfect. That's what I need in my planner. And I love that... Like this one is the plan work, which I thought would work great since I do schedule um, like my library work stuff and my YouTube work. So like I need to take pictures all the time um, of my layouts. That's perfect. So I can do that. 
Um, I could start like a password list because going between my work computer and my home computer, I'm always forgetting what my password is for my Pinterest account or my Facebook account. So I could start like a little sheet in my planner that says that. Um, yeah, I know that's not the most secure of things, but it, really it's my Pinterest. I'm not putting my bank password in there. Um, or like upload, I can put upload videos, budget, blog, post share. I love the Instagram and Facebook and I'm assuming that's Pinterest symbols and YouTube symbol because I can just put that little stamp and say you need to post an Instagram. Here's the idea for that day. Da 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 da. So I really like that. Perfect for like I said perfect for my personal work and personal for my real work. So anyway on to this one. This stamp set is called Plan to Eat. And I mostly bought this. I did like the little symbols and whatnot. And I like the little smiley faces and frowny faces. So that way if I'm doing like a meal calendar, I could say, oh, we tried a new recipe. It was not good. So don't keep that for next week or, you know, don't do that again. Um, so I do like the symbols. I am going to try to keep more track of my water intake. So I'm definitely going to be doing that with the little eight cups there but the other reason that I really liked this stamp set was the here at the bottom it says grocery bills cash check ATM I really liked those and payday because that's so much how I do my shopping is that I wait for payday or I need to set up the bills on the Tuesday before we get paid on a Friday so I thought this was just a very versatile stamp set because it's not just not just eating or health or going on a diet. It's actually like more related to like the shopping and planning and prepping of it as well. So I really, really like that stamp set. So like I said, I'll go ahead and do a couple of images from this. So you guys can see what they look like. I think this dinner plate is super cute with the utensils. Let me... Well, it's not wanting to, there we go. I just wasn't pressing it hard enough. So that's the only bad thing about like the stamp, smaller stamp sets or smaller icons is that I really need a smaller block because it's hard to work with them sometimes. But that just means I need to buy a smaller block. Let's try the water image and then I will let you guys go. <laughs> And I'll let myself go because this week it's it's been crazy. I've been working on decorations and I've been trying to, I don't know, just get people lined up for everything. So I'm just a nervous kind of wreck. Awesome. Um, so yeah, I'm a little bit of a nervous wreck this week. I'm kind of all over the place. I don't even know what I said in this video. I probably said embarrassing and weird things. <laughs> I hope not, but I wouldn't put it past myself. So anyway, that is the stamp set. Again, these are from Sweet Stamp Shop. Um, so you can go to her blog or her shop. She's got some really cute stuff um, in her shop besides these. There are a lot more card stamp sets, and I don't typically go for that. I typically like um, more like Project Life or layout stamp sets, but... These go perfect for my planner. I'm so excited to have them. And where's here's my little pouch. Which I did use the other pouch to organize my purse. And it's worked like a dream. I love it. And how perfect is that? Those stamp sets for my planner fit in my little planner pouch. Awesome. I love that. So, anyway... That is it for me. Like I said, I'm super distracted. I will probably not talk to you guys again until the weekend. So I, again, apologize for the lack of videos. Um, and with Project Life, I know I've been posting a lot less Project Life just because I'm still behind and I'm feeling frustrated. And I'm going to get it figured out, though. I'm going to work it out. I'm going to think about it. And after this week gets over um, the rest of my program is pretty much smooth sailing hopefully um, but this is like the big event so I'm just really nervous about it I've never done a murder mystery before 
like I said, my wedding literally had like seven people at it and it was on the beach. So technically I had a wedding planner. Uh, yeah, I've never done a big event like this, so I'm scared, but I am going to take a ton of photos. I've already taken a ton of photos about the prep work and stuff that I've been doing. So, um, I will be doing a blog post about it and just sharing my tips for a murder mystery and all the decorations that I did because I'm really excited over some of the stuff that we've done. So, um, yeah, I will be doing like a murder mystery circus adult winter reading program wrap up. Um, here in the next like week or so, I'll probably get that blog post done. But for now, I am out. I'm going to go sew a bunch of streamers together to make decorations and I will see you guys, uh, later this weekend. So have a good rest of the Jan rest of January and I will see you guys in February probably. Have a great day guys.